Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Monday, December the 29th. Black Monday around the NFL, right in between the end of the regular season, the beginning of the postseason. All those teams that did not make the playoffs, all those teams that did have disappointing years, they start looking at why and how. And for the New York Jets, it started early. Early Monday morning around 8.30, owner Woody Johnson and the Jets made it official. Gone is Rex Ryan. Gone is general manager John Idzik and the Jets are cleaning house. And I know there was a sentiment out there of wondering what Woody Johnson would do. Even a sentiment of people who wondered if Idzik would be gone after the fire. Idzik campaign and the fact that the two years he's been the GM, the Jets have been one of the poorer teams in the NFL. A combined 12 wins in two years, including 4-12 and 12 this year. The Jets simply weren't good enough and weren't making enough progress under Idzik's Regime. But with Rex Ryan so popular with the Jets and so much success early on in his tenure with the back to back AFC Championship game appearances, and really, when you look, six years with the Jets almost won as many games in his first two years, if you include the postseason, as he did in his final four, culminating with the victory against the Miami Dolphins in his final game as Jets head coach. But Woody Johnson here. The owner of the Jets, the man in charge of making these these decisions. Last week, bringing in Charlie Cashley, Ron Wolf, giving him some advisors with real, legitimate football experience. Not John Idzik football experience, but real, legitimate front office experience. If he leaned on them yet or not, he made the right decision to clean up the mess that he created. Yes, this is on Woody Johnson, and he was the only one that had the ability to fix the mistake he made two years ago. Two years ago was the time for the Jets to hit the reset button. Two years ago, when they had back-to-back losing years, back-to-back years really out of the playoffs, back-to-back years away from where Rex Ryan's tenure began, and they moved on from general manager Mike Tannenbaum, that was the time to make a real decision on how to go about the future of this team. And what he did at that point, by bringing in Idzik, a guy with very little experience, picking players and forcing him to keep Rex Ryan as the head coach led us to where we are today. That marriage was never going to work. Everything you heard around the Jets was the communication between upstairs, Idzik, and on the field, Ryan, was not good. And you could tell with the way the Jets went about their business handling a quarterback situation with Geno Smith. The guy Idzik picked, the guy he wanted to be the quarterback. On one hand, you're talking competition. On the other hand, you're forcing a young quarterback and forcing a rebuilding effort on a head coach that had come in and when his tenure started, winning commenced. Rex Ryan wanted to win now. The Jets under John Edzik were looking towards the future. Those two things, those two separate tracks never met. And when Woody Johnson hired John Edzik, he led us down the path we are today. And he was the only guy. There was no option other than doing what he did on this Black Monday, getting rid of both Rex Ryan and John Edzik, and now he will have the opportunity to do it right, to bring in a general manager first and then have him pick his head coach and have a new era of Jets football begin with both minds, both the coach and the guy picking the players on the same track. And hopefully for Jets fans, that will lead to sustained success, not just early success, not just what Rex Ryan gave you early on where his coaching mixed with an already talented and veteran roster was a tremendous combination. But when things got tough, Rex wasn't the guy to develop a quarterback. Rex wasn't the guy to oversee a rebuilding effort. He wanted to win immediately. Rex, John Idzik, on the other hand, wanted to go through a long, arduous rebuilding process, and what you saw was a disaster. Now, Woody Johnson, the guy who did it, it's his fault. It's the owner's fault. But when you're the owner and you make poor decisions, the only one that can rescue you from your own poor decisions is your next decision. Woody Johnson made a mistake two years ago. Today, he rectified it. Now, we'll see where his next one goes, and we'll see how the Jets organization rebounds from what Woody Johnson did to them two years ago. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports.